What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warring Aviators and a Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we're going to be starting our brand new mini mini series here on this channel of tutorials that get you to be able to use all eight basic weapons that are already on your body. There are eight basic weapons, your hands, your elbows, your knees, and your feet and I'm going to teach you how to use those and get the basics and get you just started into uh, martial arts and into self defense so you can protect yourself in a variety of situations. This episode is going to be episode one talking about the punch. Everyone knows basically what a punch is at this point. It's you know in every movie, in every TV show, in UFC, everybody watches you know Karate Kid, everybody's seen a punch, but not everybody knows exactly how to throw an, um, a proper punch, a punch that won't end up with your hand in pieces at the end of it. So in this episode, we're going to be breaking down exactly how to throw a punch and some tips on some t special targets uh, and times that punches should be used. So without further ado, let's run that intro. Okay, so I want to start off by saying all of the power in your techniques will always come from your hips. Your hips are what throws your body motion around. So instead of just punching with the power of your arm, you're punching with the power of your entire body. Your 120, 140, 150, 200 pound body as opposed to your, you know, 50 to 60 pound arm. So the first part of throwing a punch is actually learning how to make a fist. So you need to take your hands just like this and I want you to curl your fingers in just nice and tight making sure there's no wiggle room and no room for them to close and uh, nothing like can fit through them. Having a hole in your fist will break your hand. So instead closing your fist all the way is important not having any room to fit anything in. Now with your thumb it's also important that you don't put your thumb like this or like this because if your thumb extends past your fist like you see right here you can break your thumb or if it's on the side like this you can break your thumb. So you're going to want to put your thumb underneath your fist just like this so that if you punch something your fit your thumb never gets hurt and your thumb never gets broken because take it from me breaking a thumb sucks <laughs> he hit me hit me <laughs> so now that we know how to punch what we're gonna do is move forward and talk about exactly what parts of the fist you punch with because it's great to know how to make a fist, but if you don't know what part of the fist you're hitting with, it doesn't really help you. And this is actually the biggest reason people break their hands during punches. So on your fist, you have four different knuckles right here that you have available to you for each of your fists. Now, you want to use these two knuckles only. Your pinky knuckle is very... Um, easily broken it's very easily broken and so you don't want it to get hit and break on impact because then throwing punches after the first one is significantly harder and painful to you so to avoid that you want to aim with just these two knuckles and you'll see on a lot of martial artists that their hands will actually be callous from conditioning so that these two knuckles are significantly bigger than the rest of their knuckles that's how you tell someone's been doing martial arts for a long time because those two knuckles will be conditioned so whenever you punch you want to make sure you're leading with these two knuckles right here bang just like that you're leading with those two knuckles so that you don't break your fist. And I'm sure obviously if you punch bricks when you're not ready or punch a steel wall, you, you still might break your hand. But this will help so that when you're punching bones and, and the body and the skull that you don't just shatter your hand on impact. Now to throw a punch, you want to start off with your hips for the power just like I was talking about before. Your hips gonna go forward and push forward then it's gonna just follow that pattern up your body all the way through your shoulder through your elbow and through you into your fist and that power comes from your hips so you're gonna forward and then guide your arm just like that a good way to practice this is to just get used to throwing your arm forward like using your arms as noodles and just kind of throwing it forward just like this this is the motion and when you add in the technique, you can throw that cross just 
like that. Nice and easy and powerful. Same thing works for your jabs. If you wanted to do your jab, your hip goes forward and it pushes that front hand out. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Choo, 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 choo. So another thing you're gonna wanna do is breathe throughout your attacks. It is quite possible that you miss or get hit during your attacks. And to anyone that has had the wind knocked out of them, getting hit in the stomach with, with air in there can hurt and can uh, hinder you in a fight. It could, be, it could put you at a very significant disadvantage. So to avoid that, breathing all of your air out as you hit keeps it so that you're, if you get hit, you have no air to lose. And so you can stay in the fight after taking a hit a lot longer and a lot easier. <laughs> For a drill that you can work on at home, you take your stance with whatever you, whichever side you want. I suggest trying both, but putting your favorite hand in the back for the first one. That's what my suggestion is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you should be practicing both anyway. So starting off with your jab and your cross, pushing that hip forward for the jab, and then pushing that backwards hip forward for the cross, and then coming back to your hands up in a guard position. So it'll be one, two. From a different angle, it'll be one, two. And again, always aiming at a target with these first two knuckles on either hand. Now, for targets, I suggest punching the ing chung or the mustache area of your mouth. Hitting this area will allow you to hit the nose, which will keep your opponent crying, making it harder for them to fight, as well as breaking part of the jaw. So when you have your target visualized, and if you, even better, you're practicing in front of a mirror, you can punch, bang, bang, one, two, one, two, choo, 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 choo. And notice I'm still firing with those hips to keep your power going. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to be doing the rest of the targets, your elbows next, knees after that, and feet last, so you can get the basics of how to protect yourself in any situation you need to. And if you like this series, make sure you leave a like, follow if you want to see more, and check out all of my other social media accounts, links in the description down below. My link tree is linked down below, so definitely check that out. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.